Okay, we are going to do the um, color emphasis painting using a photograph and the viewfinder. So I'm going to combine these into one video. So let's start by here's how we set up our viewfinder. You can see here I'm going to divide my image into four separate sections. Okay, one, two, three, four. So let's look now at how we set this up in Photoshop. So here I go, I got Photoshop. I'm just gonna make a new document. And this is correct, Photo Landscape 8 by 10. So, okay. So this is basically the same size and shape as what we have on the document. Now I'm gonna make a new layer. On this layer, uh, you know what, I'm going to title this layer. I'm going to call this Grid, and I'm going to make my overlay on this layer using the Line tool right here. And I want to click this button right here so it'll fill pixels so it won't make a new layer. So I'm just going to make that same grid that we saw on the picture. I'm going to make it in my Photoshop document. Oop. It helps if I use a color other than white. Let's make it black. Okay, let's try that again. Mm, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close. Mm, something like that. So now I have my grid section. Now I'll make another new layer. And this is going to be my sketch. Which I probably just spelled it. Yep, I sure did. Well, that doesn't really matter. So now what we do is I'm going to go to my paintbrush. And you know what? I'm going to pick uh, my very old favorite here. Dry media. Okay. Whatever. And I want my number five charcoal pencil. Don't worry about it. I don't want my sketch layer. Black, lower my opacity. We've done all this stuff before. Now, what I do here, let's make sure I'm functioning correctly here. Yep, there's my sketch. So what I want to do is I'm going to look back at my image with the grid overlay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just going to start by sketching what's in this area. So if I look at this kind of right in the middle here, I can see there's a flower right there, kind of in the middle, just below the midline of this bottom section. So if I go back to my Photoshop section, that flower would be kind of here and in the middle. And then I'm looking back and forth, I'm looking here, and then I'm going to come back. So let's see. That flower is going to be oh, right in this area. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get in the general vicinity. So there's that one flower. Now I'm going to do the next one right above it. It comes off the top and goes up almost to the top of the line. So, so here I go. Uh, I think I made this one actually a little too small. This one goes up almost a straight line. And then there's another petal here. So this will be that other flower. Obviously, I'm going to keep working on this and probably go back and sketch this in and, and start to make it look a little more you know, detailed. Then what I'll do is I'll go back after I've sketched it in. Once I have the sketch the way I want it, I'll make another layer here for paint and do my color. So hopefully this helps you understand how we did the grids. One, two, three, four. And how to set up a document to do a grid-based painting. Okay.